Good evening, my fellow tumblers. How are we all doing? I'm going to let everybody get her. I will send out all the invites I know of, and we are going to get this party started. I am, what, 20 minutes early? For my East Coast friends, it is a wonderful Saturday night. I'm going to let everybody get her. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Hey, Larissa. Hey, Tina. What's up, my dearies? How are we doing Saturday night? What's up, Christy? Hey, Jason. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Vicky. What's up, Marva? Good evening. We are going to start a honeybee tumbler tonight. I was not live last night, but I'm live Saturday night. Hey, Julie. What's up, guys? Ooh, it's raining in Wisconsin. Nice. It's just hot here. It's hot here. What's up, guys? I don't know if everyone got the notification I'm live. Please post it and let everyone know we are on like Donkey Kong. We are going to start our honeybee cup. Um, we are not going to decal it like a honeybee cup, though, okay? Hey, Shelby. What's up, my dear? I know, Tina. I am so in love with the Winnie the Pooh idea. What's up, Marie? You know me. I wanted to do a classic twist on something that all of the steps are the same, but it's different. You know me. Hey, Christy. I'm going to call you Christy Joe because I like that. Hey, Sabrina. What's up, guys? I was finally able to make my first water slide after you showed us how. Congratulations, Carrie. That's awesome. I told you, I will help you guys do whatever and all you need to do. You just got to ask. Me or anyone else here in the group is always welcome to help. That's fine, everyone does. Well, Christy, I think it's because I have a cousin named Cody Joe. So I always say Cody Joe, Bobby Joe, Christy Joe. It's, it's habit. So I hope everyone's having a fabulous Saturday. We're going to do the Honey Bee Cup tonight. Um, I spray painted it today. All right, all right, all right. So, we're supposed to get a tornado here, but sadly I think it flew away from us. Sadly you think it flew away. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Well, not us Twister movie lovers. It wouldn't be a good thing, but for you it's a good thing. We all have a Joe in there. That's right, Christy. We sure do. So I think everybody's getting the notification. I don't want anybody to miss it, but it is Saturday and I'm 20 minutes early. I like surprising you guys. I thought it'd be fun. And I got everything done a little bit early, uh, which shocked me, I know. I got the nurse, I got the nurse cup decaled. Anyone else get beautiful glitters last night from Southern Sassy Sparkle? I did not. I was watching Ghost Adventures with uh, my boys and my hubby last night we were having a we made fried rice together and we watched ghost adventures it was a lovely night so i wasn't really on a whole lot i tried to peek in, peek in here and there but i didn't get a chance to hey nikki but southern sassy sparkles who is a lovely company and a lovely lady stacy um had amazing stuff you guys amazing and don't forget when you place an order to use our discount code okay so don't forget that. Also, to find all of my previous tutorials. Hey, Diana. It's lovely to see you, too. Even though I'm not really seeing you. Y'all know what I mean. Okay. Don't forget to go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. Tumblr Time with Helen. Jason set it up. Um, the link is in the group page, but he can drop it in the comments, too. That way, when you want to find all of my previous tutorials from a couple of months ago or however long I've been doing this, they're all there. You don't have to search for them or anything. They're all on the YouTube channel now, okay? So go subscribe. Send it out to people who are looking for tutorials on cups. That's great, too. But here's the nurse cup. It's so cute. It says, who needs sleep? I'm a night shift nurse. I don't even have to be a nurse to not get no sleep. And there we go. There's the name. I know it's backwards. Yes, Stacy is awesome. Hey, Mom. But look, guys, isn't this adorb? 
I freaking love it. So, yeah, I decaled this today. Super happy with it. Hey, Lisa. It's dirty on the bottom. I had to clean it. I know. That red and that white from Mr. Nola's, amazing. Right? And then here's the beach cup. I got that decaled and ready to go. These are great for people who visit different um, places, you guys. So this is a different kind of twist on the, um, on the beach cup. You can make them to whatever island your customer visits, like Hawaii, whatever. See? Just something different. You know me. I like to, we'll do same styles, but we are going to decal things differently in a little, in, in our own way. Because I, I am like that. Yes. So let's do the honeybee cup. The, um, we got about 26 people watching. The great thing is replays are awesome. I'm going to untape the lid because my lid was taped down. It was probably busted. I don't know. And I've got, um, I got stuff shipping out for Monday. I've got cups I need to clean the aisle. Jesse, I'm sitting off your cups Monday. Your I Love Lucy cups I'm packing tonight because I got my adorable boxes in you guys. You guys got to see these boxes. Let me see if I can pull one out. They're not that big, but they're great for uh, for like a one cup, one cup deal. Look at this, you guys. Look, look how cute. I need to go hope to Hawaii, lol. I'll have to go on a cup. Yes. Is there a very place on YouTube to find yours? Yes, Marva, there is. I'm sending them out Monday, Jess. Oh, I did not do the butt on, oh, on the butt on the beach cup. Boom. That's the Palm Islands in Dubai. That's where we stayed. Our resort was right here on the tip of that. And we could see um, the Burj Al Arab right across the ocean. And of course you could see the Burj Khalifa from everywhere. But that's where we stayed was the Palm Islands. So that's on the butt. I didn't put anything on the butt of the nurse cup. You had... Wait, wait, wait. I had to strip my honeybee cup. It's my first cup, and so far I'm horrible at it. Honey, don't don't worry about that. Thanks, Tina. Hey, Brenda. I know, right? Where are my fur babies? Well, one is right down there. Sophie. See? Lola, since daddy's home, is with daddy. She's with Matt somewhere. Hey, Bonnie, I know these are adorable. These are perfect for like one cup boxes for a 20 ounce cup, which are your typical normal sizes you will sell for a one cup shipping box. This works great, you guys. This works great for a one cup box. I have bigger boxes for the multiple cup orders I get, but these, like, look, where do I fold it? These are perfect for a one cup box. See? Perfect size for a one cup box. And I got these on you pack and ship. I just Googled um, smile mill, hashtag smile mill. I just Googled that, hashtag smile mill, and I found these boxes. They're super cute. They have a, a couple of different designs. These were, this was the design for the size I needed. And they have like roses and stuff for bigger sizes, which work great. You think I'm, I think I might order two more cups. Of course you would. <laughs> Just PM me later. Okay, guys. Let's get down to business. This is the cup for the honeybee cup. Oh, I know, Jennifer. The boxes are so cute. They're just a little something extra. And that you can do customized boxes. I didn't try it, but it offered it. So, 
And it was like nine bucks for 25 boxes. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, 25 boxes for like nine bucks. Although it does ship FedEx and I hate FedEx. You know where they put that package when I got the boxes today? In front of my basketball goal, you guys. In front of the freaking basketball goal. FedEx. Mm. Okay, this is the Honey Bee Cup. I spray painted it yellow. It had a rubber bottom. That's fine. Spray paint right over that sucker and epoxy it and glitter it and whatever you're going to do. Yeah, I was starting. Just ordered some free boxes from USPS. Thought I would start there, but smaller boxes are great. Yeah, I get the free boxes too, Mimi, from USPS. The priority boxes, I get them too. What's up, Regina? You made it, my love. What's up? All my sweet, sweet friends are here. So, this was spray painted with the same yellow that I used for the Harry Potter cup. And I think it's called um, Wild Honey. Now, this is going to be the Honey Bee Cup. It'll be Honey Bee Cup style. So, it'll be a honeycomb peekaboo. But I'm decaling it Winnie the Pooh. Because I freaking love Winnie the Pooh. And we're going to do honey drips. Okay? You know me. I like to twist things around. Same store, sort of uh, beginning style. And then decal it completely different. Does that make sense? So, we are going to do this exactly the same. Peekaboo honeycomb. This is going to have honey drips. Hey, Stacy! Southern Sassy Sparkles in the house. I freaking love Winnie the Pooh. That has been my one of my top favorite Disney things since I was a kid. My mom knows that. My sister knows that. I freaking love Winnie the Pooh. Yes! I love Winnie the Pooh. And I am so glad you made it too, Regina. I hope you're feeling okay. Everybody keep Regina in your prayers. She hasn't been feeling too hot. Okay? So, this was Wild Honey from Cry Along. Let me show you the bottom. Mm -hmm. Whee! This is the, uh, the spray paint I used. Krylon Matte Wild Honey. That's this. Yeah, the honey drips are the part I need help with big time. Okay, Bonnie. Well, I will show we are going to do drips together. It will be my first time, but I have done a lot of research on them, and I'm pretty confident we're not going to have any issues. Retire is my fave. Is it? So, but this is the spray paint, you guys. You don't have to color match this. You could do a white spray paint. I just felt like color matching it to be a little extra, okay? Abby loves Winnie the Pooh with the storybook, the one where you meet Tigger and... Yes, Jesse, that's the one I'm going to do with Pooh stuck in the honey tree. That's what I'm putting on this. Oh, I freaking love Eeyore too. I love all of the Winnie the Pooh. Not just him himself. I love the whole thing, all of it. Hey, Thomas. This is the glitter we're going to use for the honeycomb. It's from Glitter Chimp, and it's called honeycomb it is a really pretty mixology I can't remember if they have it in stock right now they might don't hold me to that um, they might have this in stock I know they just recently restocked it so they might we can um, we'll check okay and if the site doesn't have it one of their third-party dealers do okay but like I said you don't have to use this specific glitter hey Linda you guys can use whatever yellows and um, darker yellows you want. This does not have to be the same. You can bust out whatever honey colors you want to do. Yes, I know. I freaking love what it's about. But we're going to use this one because that's what I have. I saw when they stocked it and I knew I had to have it. You guys know me. I will get glitter from anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. And uh, Stacy, I bet you have a yellow at Southern Sassy Sparkles. That would be phenomenal for a honeybee cup too. I might have to make more than one honeybee or Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yes, Bonnie. I want to see. Oh, it is in stock? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know if it was or not. I haven't checked. But um, 
I'm sure uh, there's a lot of places where you can find really great um, yellows for it. It does not have to be this specific glitter. You guys know I tell you to find it anywhere you can find it. You don't have to use the same thing I use. Twist and turn your cup however you want. That's what makes it individual to yourself. Okay, always remember that. So we're going to get started. Hey, Laura, what's up? So I'm going to bust out my turner. And I got my epoxy tray. And I have my glitter catching tray under here. Okay. I think I touched this with something. Something was on my hands when I touched it. So, we're gonna do this thing. Marcy, Trina, you're welcome. Hope you love our group. Oh, good, yes. Yes, Southern Bling for super bright sparkle or, go or good fever for a milder shine. Oh, I like that, so see, Stacy has some um, at Southern Sassy Sparkles, she's got Southern Bling for a super bright sparkle or good fever for a milder shine. So you guys can get a good honey glitter from Southern Sassy Sparkles and use our discount code, guys. Awesome. Stacy rocks. What's up, Mariana? Thank you. Thank you. I've slept on it since then. I didn't wash it yet because when you color your hair, you don't want to wash it right away. I super baby this thing. What's up, Summer? We have had a lot of new members. You guys, this group is blowing up, and I'm so freaking astonished. I really am. It just makes me happy. It's the only thing sometimes that keeps me going when I get so stressed. Seeing all of you guys' wonderful messages just bring me right back to where I need to be for you. So it's amazing. Now, we're going to bust out our epoxy. You know, I use the epoxy method to adhere all my glitter, unless I have to bust out devil's glue, which I try not to do. So, we're going to get this thing started. Yes, use the discount code at Southern Sassy Sparkles. I'm watching, but, but I'm not working tonight. I'm laying on my couch. Awesome, relax and cut back and let's do this. You just cut yours really short, Linda? Aw, thanks, Brittany. Gold fever. Gold fever, not good fever. Okay, guys, so it's gold fever glitter from Southern Sassy Sparkles. Hey Chelsea, what's up my dear? Let's bust out our gloves. Also, um, in the near future, we're gonna do a Wonder Woman cut. Cause her new movie's coming out, the 80s version. I love Wonder Woman, I thought it was a great. I hate the podge, I hate the devil's glue. Ordered more during Stacy's sale. Can't wait to get my glitters. Awesome Jennifer because you're awesome and have so much patience with us. Aw, oh, thanks, Mimi. I try. I just really want everyone to know they can do this too, and there is always a way to fix something. I'm not gonna tell you always go straight for a strip, okay? There's, to me, there's always something we can do to fix it before we go straight to stripping, okay? I believe we can save it before we have to work, just throw all our hard work down the drain. What's up, Donna? Oh yeah, Nikki? I still hate it. You can show me all the tricks in the world. I still hate it. At first glance, it looked like your cup was being held up by your foot. Girl, I can't bend that far. <laughs> no, sir, I cannot do that. Can you imagine that? I cannot bend that way. That'd be weird. So I'm just getting my gloves on so we can work this thing. I'm going to move this out of the way, get my cup, and my famous stick. My famous skewer, it has been a long week. Girl, uh, you're telling me. I'm so freaking glad it's Saturday. I love that my husband's off on Fridays and Saturdays so we can chill. I love and appreciate, I love and appreciate single cell from all you ladies and gents. It warms my heart. 
Well, we are more than welcome to help you, Stacy. Thank you for joining our group and doing what you have done for us by helping us out. We don't mind helping you and promoting you at all. I love supporting small business. That's what we're all about. We are all cup business women and men, and we need to support each other. I don't mind absolutely at all. The purple one with a Mod Podge brush. We don't mind helping you in the least, Stacy. You're amazing to us, and we are amazing right back at you, girl. Uh, how much glitter am I going to use? How much epoxy am I going to use? Oh, yeah. I made more molds the other night. I had mixed way too much epoxy, so I need to make a new memory tail and a new couple of pineapples. I don't know. What color mermaid tail should I do now? I have the green fin already in there set. I don't know what color I want to do the top part. So maybe we'll over mix some epoxy and then we'll put some, the rest in some of those molds. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, like I said, if you are only mixing epoxy to adhere something and not throw it in a mold, okay, you only need about five mLs. That's two and a half of A, two and a half of B, okay? That is for adhering your glitter. You don't need um, as much as I am mixing right now. I am mixing as much as I am right now because we are going to throw it in a mermaid fin and two pineapple molds. Okay, what's up, Vicky? Light blue. So Cheyenne says we should do a light blue mermaid tail. I can't decide. Where's my paper towels? Okay, here's the paper towels. Just got in from Oklahoma from taking my dog to the dock diving. Sweet. Happy FD to, oh, happy Father's Day to Panda. Oh, Jennifer, that's so sweet. I'll tell Panda you said happy Father's Day. My kids got blessed with one amazing father, you guys. I did not have, I did not get to experience that. I had an uncle who was like my father. So having that for my children is an absolute blessing. I couldn't ask for more with that. And happy Father's Day to all of your children's daddies. And happy Father's Day to the single mamas because they get an extra day. I had a single mama. She's my, she was mama and daddy. So happy double day. So I am mixing 25 of A and 25 of B because we're going to throw it in the molds. Don't need two uncles. That's right, Jesse. You know what I meant. Stacy's so excited to get. Yes, yeah, see, Stacy, everyone is excited about your glitters. Girl, they're gorgeous. I did get to catch some of your live yesterday, and I got to go back and rewatch. Hold on, let me grab a cup. I forgot to get a cup. And they're over her. In my, uh, my little side thing over here. What's up, Kayla? I don't know how to say it. I think it's Ivalice. Is it Ivalice? Am I saying that right, hon? Because I don't want to butcher your name. If I do, you can butcher mine. I don't care. I try my best. But, girl, you, might, you are my Disney soul sister. <laughs> After we talked the other night, what was it, like 1 o'clock in the morning? So we're taking the 25 A and putting it in our bigger cup. I use Amazing Clear Cast Epoxy. Join in a little late. It's all good, Kayla. You made it anyway. We're just mixing some epoxy. I said it right. I love that name. That's so pretty. You don't, you don't hear that everywhere. I have a lease. I like that. I love he seeing everyone's unique names. Here comes the dipstick. For real. These medicine cups, even though I order from the same place, they're thinner than the last ones. 
These have a more paper-like texture. I don't know why. Yes, you're gonna watch Frozen again tonight? Ha ha ha. It's Eve Elise. Oh, Eve Elise. In, Sp in Spanish, but the way you said it is fine. Girl, just tell me how to say it right. I'm here, fell asleep. It's all good, Mitch. Hi. Girl, watch it. I'm gonna watch more Ghost Avengers. I have been having a blast watching it with my boys and my hubby. And then I started watching the second season of The Order on Netflix. I like that show too. It's not for everyone, but it's like witches and werewolves. It's a little gory, so if you don't like that, don't watch it. I don't like it, but it doesn't bother me. We watched the we watched the hunt the other day too. It's like a satire movie. It was weird. It was weird. How about about how much epoxy do you use for the initial glitter application? Maria, if you are only using epoxy to adhere your glitter, five mLs. Okay? Two and a half A, two and a half a B. Very little amount, but I'm not just using this to adhere glitter. We're going to throw it in the molds that I have already uh, halfway done to do a double color mold. Okay? <laughs> Tina can't stand frozen, but that's... Uh, Ivelisse, it's because she's got two granddaughters who made her overwatch it. I think you should have a drawing for a dipstick. You want me to do a giveaway on a skewer? <laughs> that is funny. And I'll put, like, I'll decal it with my name. <laughs> Helen's dipstick. <laughs> That's funny. I love the order almost. <gasps> Regina, you watch it too? Girl, see? We are more and more alike every freaking day. Don't tell me anything. I don't remember what episode I'm on. I watched two of them last night. I was up to like 6 a.m. But I freaking love it. It's nice just like sitting and watching TV for a change because I'm usually working. I saw the new Child's Play movie. It was more like the doll became an obsessed stalker friend. I don't know. You know, Jesse, you know I don't do Child's Play. I have watched The Boy, but I haven't seen The Boy too. How much epoxy do you do on a final coat? Five mLs? For a final glitter coat between five and ten, Sabrina, depending on the cup size. When it's a flood coat over glitter, it does take more. So it's about ten. Like for the flag cup, because I haven't epoxied it yet, and I sealed all of the glitters, it will take at least 10 to 15 mLs to cover that. To get a solid epoxy layer over that. I've been obsessed with Queen of the South. I haven't got to see that yet. What am I doing? Oh, I put A and B. Y'all. <laughs> okay, let's start a mix in. Now we mix slowly. Okay, you know this, to create the least amount of bubbles that we can. And I heat while I mix. You don't have to do this the same way I'm doing, especially if you're only using this, mixing a small amount to adhere glitter. You can mix it quickly and have some bubbles because it's not gonna matter. Heat it after it's on the cup, pop most of them, and then do your glitters. So that's fine. But like I said, before and for any of the newbies watching, I do not personally wear a mask mixing epoxy. That does not mean I recommend you should not. Um, a lot of us know that I always put that PSA out there, but since we've had so many new people joining the group, I figured I would throw it out there again. Um, the window next to me is open as well as my ceiling fan is on and I am in a very ventilated room of my house. When you are mixing chemicals of any sort, you should definitely do it with a respirator on if you are sensitive, okay? I definitely recommend it if you have the stomach for it. There are some parts that aren't for everyone, but it's so good. I started it last night and I'm already on season two. See, even my mom watches Queen of the South. I will have to get to it. But as far as uh, mixing epoxy, if you are sensitive to anything, um, please wear a respirator if you can find one. I know it's hard to find right now. But the window next to me is open, the ceiling fan is on, no fumes are building in my face, 
and the epoxy I use does not bother me. I use Amazing Clearcast from Illumilite.com, okay? And um, I don't experience uh, any smell with it or any allergical reactions. But please be cautious when mixing and using epoxy of any sort. You can also change your epoxies. If one bothers you, try a different brand. You don't have to use the same brand I do. You should make a Chucky cup. No, girl, I freaking hate Chucky. Vicky, that was the only scary movie character that I was deathly afraid of as a child. I don't do Chucky. But he was on that, uh, that horror, horror movie character cup I did. The scary movie cup, he was on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Don't overheat because you will melt your cup or burn your epoxy. Or do both. You could end up doing both. And you don't want to do that. Sorry, I had glitter sitting out that I forgot to do. Hey, Sue. No, I don't, Jess. We don't have that stupid thing anymore. The set I got from Hobby Lobby the other day is the new formula. Oh, good. So it's getting out into stores, Larissa. That's good to know. Good, good. The new mix is awesome. I never liked Chucky either. I know, Brenda. I mean, uh, I don't do that doll. Mm -mm. Now, can everybody tell me if you did get the invites or like a notification when I went live? Um, we tried to change the settings to where you guys would. I'm just having an overall terrible night with cups tonight. I'm going to call it a night. Honey, we all have that, Ashley. We really do. I put my epoxy in ketchup and mustard bottles from Family Dollar. Makes it much easier to pour. They're out of stock on the pu they're out of stock on the pumps when I went to order my epoxy. Oh, Jennifer, they sell that epoxy or uh, the gallon pumps on Amazon too. You don't have to switch bottles all the time. I'm going online now and finding a Chucky mask. No. Don't send me nothing Chucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I counted a little faster because I wasn't paying attention. I never smell the epoxy. Do I still need a mask? If it doesn't bother you, Vicky, and you're not having a reaction to it, you don't have to. But I do recommend, um, I was going to start wearing a mask when mixing this, but, uh, it was right at the time Corona hit, and so I couldn't even find one. And then what masks I do have, I let my husband use for work. Oh, okay, good. You didn't get a notification? I think we'll have to see. I think there's an option where we can make sure you guys get notifications when we're on live, so that'll help. Does your amazing smell like dirt? No. I don't really smell anything, Tina. I don't smell anything at all. I'm getting my hair done ombre style at the end. Ombre style? How are you doing it ombre style? What's up, Janine? That is a stir stick, girl. Mm-hmm. They make it, they joke about it that it's a good a dipstick, but uh, it's actually a skewer. Everybody was showing their metal uh, epoxy stirring sticks to create less bubbles, and I ran out of popsicle sticks. So I needed something to stir, so I got a metal stick, and that was all I had. Oh, you make masks, Laura? No, it's okay, hon. He did end up getting some free masks from work. I appreciate that, though. That I really appreciate that, though. But he did end up getting some from work. Red and a dark color. Just leave your hair red, Jesse. You're a natural redhead. You look good as a redhead. It has a slight sweet you smell a sweet smell Jason see everybody's different yeah Jen they all joke that I stole this out of people's cars like it's an ongoing joke in the group I, I made a joke that I was gonna go around and start taking dipsticks out of people's car but I ran out of popsicle sticks and I needed something to stir it and everyone uses a metal stir stick and I had skewers that we use for barbecuing so I just took one what's up Bobby Joe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just my magical number. No rhyme or reason to that. I have donated to the Cherokee. No Laura, that's amazing. You are such an angel, hun. They definitely need it too. 
I might have to hit you up for a mask though, because I'm gonna have to start getting out for doctor certain doctor's appointments. So I want something cute. I don't want to look like I don't know. I want a cute one. I don't know how to sew. I'm a lost cause with that. I'm getting bubbled using popsicle sticks and switch to the metal stir sticks. They are a game changer. Well, there you go. As long as it helps. You can't find gloves anywhere, Ashley. If you try going to the store first thing in the morning, that might help. That's how my husband was finding my boxes of gloves. He was going first thing in the morning. Funny thing is when she said that there were like, yes, there were car alarms that went off. Oh, Helena said she orders from Amazon. Okay, I think our epoxy is just about done. It's nice and clear, which is how you know it's done. It has some bubbles. I ain't worried about it at all. We're putting it in a mold anyway, so no worries. And your molds, depending on the size of them, um, these are straw toppers. Some of them take more epoxy than others. It just depends on what you're using. I shared your live. Absolutely, Bobby Joe, share it. If you need, share it, hon. I don't mind at all. It gets the word out there for people that need help. That's fine. And some people just enjoy watching things, so that's fine. I do have popsicle sticks and still use a dipstick. It's habit now. Harris County Judge just put in an order to wear a mask when going into any business. The mayor of Houston calls it no shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service. Businesses can be fine. Yes, uh, Jennifer, I saw that. It's the same in San Antonio here. As of Monday, businesses will have to require um, the use of masks. I don't go out as it is, but I do have some doctor's appointments that I'm going to need to go to and for my youngest son. So um, I have to, I'm going to have to end up having one. I have a Jack Skellington one left that over that is brand new. I donated a bunch. Oh, cool. I have a sugar skull mask, daisies, and red and blue with unicorns. See, all of you sew. I need to sew. My grandma tried to teach me to sew. It did not end up well. Oh, good, Linda. Okay, so nice and clear. We're going to put the epoxy on the cup and let it spin and even out. And then we're going to throw it in our molds. Then we'll glitter the cup. Give me your address. I'll send it to you. Oh, thanks, Cindy. You guys are awesome for volunteering to send me a mask. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. I'll gladly pay you for your work. But I did need to find one. Now, instead of selling, like, um, food on the side of the road and fruit and vegetables in the summer, I see mask stands. <laughs> I see mask stands on the side of the road. Do you live in San Antonio? Yes, Kayla, I do. I live in San Antonio. Fortnite masks? Really, Mom? Fortnite? Nick would love a Fortnite. I don't even think they make Fortnite material. I was going to make... I know how to do the tie blankets, and I wanted to make him some new tie blankets. My sons both have tie blankets from me. And I have one on the back of my couch. And I think I made one for my niece. Jessie, doesn't Abby still have a tie blanket I made her? Thank God Denver isn't doing that. Only some places are. Well, I think it's because... Oh, Kayla, are you in San Antonio too? I think it's because here in San Antonio, um, the cases are rising rapidly here in Texas because we started opening everything back up, which I was not surprised. I knew the moment that they started opening everything back up that that was going to happen. I knew it. And being high risk, it terrifies me and my son is high risk. So my mother's high risk. I mean, so many of us are. And there's so many people before that wouldn't follow the rules when it was super strict. So, I mean, really... You're even more screwed now than you were before because people didn't want to follow it when it was required the way it was. And now it's, it's really bad. I think it was a princess one, Jesse. Oh, you're a truck driver. That's cool. My uncle's a truck driver. I love my no-sew blankets. I know. I did some no-sew blankets. That's what they're called. You, thanks, Larissa. I have, my son has like a Mickey Mouse Batman one. Um, I know I need to make an OKC one for my oldest son. But I can't go to the fabric stores. I'm going to fall in Harris County just a matter of time though. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for what you do driving the trucks, Kayla. Keeping our country running. Everyone give Kayla a round of applause. The only one I'm not is FedEx. <laughs> Freaking leaving a package by my basketball goal, man. I swear. My son was like, why is there a box by the basketball goal? I was like, are you shitting me? Sorry, I said the S word. Yes, Jen, when we, um, when I went to go get my hair done, it's required to wear a mask. And, uh, I was, str and it was ho so hot here. I was struggling, man. I was freaking, I told my husband, I don't know how you do that working all night long and having to wear that damn thing. I just, mm, I felt like I could not breathe. And my youngest son has really bad asthma. So, Yeah. Please don't get me started on FedEx. <laughs> Girl, for real. Freaking FedEx. So this had a rubber bottom, you guys. It's an Ozark brand from uh, Walmart. It had a rubber bottom. I spray painted over it, and look at me. We're going to glitter and epoxy right over it. No issues. You don't have to pop them off. Just leave it on there and let it be. Now, you want a thin amount of epoxy. So we're going to just keep, we adhered it, and now we're making it nice and thin so it doesn't soak up the glitters. Now, we are using a chunky mix, mixology, okay? So you want to make sure you pat it down after you put it down, okay? We're going to tap it flat so we don't have to sand as much and have any issues. It's hard, I'm not working because I'm a flight attendant, so it's not safe for me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jen. I know it's so hard on so many people right now, and it breaks my freaking heart. It really is. You popped yours off? That's okay. I have environmental asthma, and I can't wear the mask. They just drive me crazy when it's human. I can't breathe as it is. And then they stick you a mask on. It's like, oh my God, I do. Yes, Bonnie, I know what you mean, hon. It was so humid that day. I went to go get my mat, uh, get my hair done. Ooh. I told, I was like, I don't, God bless our healthcare workers because they have to wear it and so tight. Um, Sandy works in the hospital and she was telling me and showing me where she had like scars on her bruises and stuff from her masks. Y'all, God bless them. Because mm, they are truly on the front lines of this all and I hope they are all being safe. As the rest of us just needing to live our normal lives right now. Because this thing is not going away. It's just going to get worse. And I want all of us to stay safe. That's why I say what I say when I close off every night. Okay, it's nice and thin. We're going to heat it a little bit. Roll it around. Hey, Gina. My cousin and a nurse. She wears a mask. The N95 one I made. Oh, good, Laura. That's nice of you to have made her one. My aunt is a nurse. I have a lot of friends who are nurses. I have family who's nurses. I have friends who are nurses. I pray for every one of them. Christy Joe, you do what you gotta do, hon. I'll help you if you need me. So I heat my epoxy, it thins it out, and there are random strays, gl strays of glitter on this. That's fine. The glitter I'm going to put on this will uh, cover all of it anyway. And that's going to happen, you guys. It is so hard to make a Plano cup with no glitter. You are going to end up with different colors of glitter on a different cup that you didn't mean to put there. It happens. It really, truly happens. What's up, Shelly? All right, we're going to take our extra epoxy and we are going to throw it in a mold. Did anybody have any other suggestions on a mermaid tail other than I've done a pink and purple one. It's got a green bottom. I know I did get one for light blue. I'm going to California for work next week. Not excited to be on a plane for six hours. Mariana, I'm praying for you that you don't catch anything on that stupid plane. They better keep you safe, girl. All right. So let's throw in the um, the thing of a bop. Where's my other um? Darn it! Ugh. 
Jesse, you just threw up two totally different colors. You said blue and red. <laughs> blue. Ariel Sisters Dale. I heat the epoxy to remove bubbles. Yellow. I saw a lot of blues. I think I have some really pretty blues. Mm. Hold up, guys. Let me see. I just got a gorgeous blue in. Called Tide Pool. And it is a chunky. And then we'll make some more. Um, should we do pink pineapples or yellow? Or we should do purple pineapple, huh? Should we do a purple pineapple? Yeah, I'm going to do tide pool for that. Tide pool is so pretty. I already used Grover though, Jason. Hmm. Yeah. Pink. I did make a pink one already, Jen. We'll do blue and then I'm going to do a yellow rose. So let me grab a second cup to mix this. So we're going to split the epoxy. And I mix the glitter and the epoxy for my molds. So we'll do tide pool for the mermaid tail. It's got a green bottom. And then this one's going to be the yellow rose. I'll mess with the pineapples another time. Got some of the green from the putting the um the tail in there so I'm trying to get it all out have a mint green mom I'm gonna have to buy a mint green tide pool is so pretty Wendy what uh what ombre did you try doing I made a shell with tears of my enemies and some blue alcohol ink oh Mimi I want to see <gasps> y'all this tide pool, look at this. Look at that. Don't shish kebab your hair. I know. If I had any of this blue left over, I'll make a blue pineapple. Yes, this is gorgeous, you guys. Look at that.
Looks like I will have enough for a pineapple. Jennifer, I got some of these molds. The Jack mold I got from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And the, um, the other ones I got from Glitter Chimp. I think they do have some molds still in stock. I think the Harry Potter hat is still in stock and the um what's it called? Oh, a honey pot mold would be cute for the Winnie the Pooh cup, Mom. That's so true. It's already been short, everyone I have to get up in the morning then. You get some rest, Regina. Let me know how it goes, okay? Message me. Let's throw the rest of this blue in a um, pineapple mold. We're going to have a blue pineapple, you guys. Or a Winnie the Pooh head. Yes. Jen, I love Winnie the Pooh. That's what the Honey Bee Cup is going to be. Oh, cool, Nikki. Yeah, that would be neat. Or Winnie the Pooh head, like my mom said. All right, let's make the yellow rolls real quick. You know I mix several different colors for my yellow rose or my yellows because I like to be fancy smancy like that oh my god Helen say your last name say it honeypot silicone cake Linda I'm gonna have to check that out after the live say my last name Gumbrecht Gumbrecht It's German. My maiden name was like French Canadian or something. Or Danish or whatever. Yes, Jen. Winnie the Pooh was my absolute favorite growing up. You can ask my mom and my sister. So my honey bee cup is going to be Winnie the Pooh. I'm adding a little bit of the honeycomb to this rose, uh, the yellow mix. You probably were way off. Don't worry, so many people are. Oh, I love how you say it. Oh my God, I was actually saying it correct. <laughs> you were? You were saying it. It's Gumbrecht. <laughs> you want to know my maiden name? Gibble you. <laughs> Lord, y'all. Anytime they had to say my last name in class at school, I freaking dreaded it. Look how pretty this yellow is, you guys. For the yellow rose. We're going to drop that in the rose mold and then drop the glitter on the um, Winnie the Pooh cup or honey bee style. I'm going to heat this a little bit. Makes it a little easier to pour. When you put glitter straight into epoxy, you guys, it gets really thick. So. That's the only re the only time I add glitter straight to epoxy is when I'm doing a mold.
So like even this mix, you guys, this yellow mix right here, you could totally do for the yellow too. For the peak, for the yellow part, for honey, you could do something like this. Like I said, you don't have to do it the same way. This would make a great yellow for the peekaboo too. What's up, Tawny? Hey, Joyce. Look how pretty that yellow is. And that's a mix of several different yellows. It's okay, Angela. That's a mix of several different yellows. Thanks, Joyce. I spritz the top of my mold with a little bit of alcohol to bring out any bubbles. I'm going to let that set. These are done. Let's toss them away. Our routine is out of them. Let's get down to honey. This is nice and even. Probably even got a little warm, which is fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now, if I don't put these back, I'm going to freaking forget. I need to get something to put all my glitters in. And I haven't yet. I know I should put shelves up. Why did I put up the one I'm about to use? Ugh, I swear, y'all. change out my epoxy tray to my glitter catching tray. And these papers have blue on them. I don't want blue. Honey, babe, could, could you bring me a piece of paper, a clean one? I thought I had one. All right, guys, we're going to drop the honeycomb. Very funny. I'm going to have to make space. Hold on, guys, I need a clean piece of paper. I don't have one. Here. I thought I saw it printer paper, but I guess I didn't. Hey Jen, hey Brenda. Jason, you're a dude, that's your job.
What do you guys think? I know I'm making a humongous mess. Don't freak out. Tap them down. Yes. Yes, he is. Isn't this gorgeous? What? To catch the glitter. Can you go check in the fridge and see if I have a roof here in it? In the drawers. Okay. I just, no. hmm. yeah. How do you keep the arm from falling out of your turner? I have a new one that looks like that. No matter the cup size, the entire arm comes out and the cup falls off after an hour or so. You gotta make sure that it's stuck in there nice and good. And you gotta make sure that the cup the turner is even. Where did you get that glitter? Jen, this is Honeycomb from Glitter Chim. It's a mixology. So this has a mix of chunky and fine. I'm obsessed with their mixology glitters. But I'm, accepts, I'm obsessed with glitter. It legit doesn't matter where it's from. I see it and I'm like, oh, sparkly. Maybe it's the redneck in me. You know how they say like rednecks are attracted to shiny things? <laughs> no, Tina, this is not for an order or anything. Um, this was just to try. It was one of the lists of tutorials that was requested to be seen. So um, it's up for grabs still. I know somebody was interested in it and I sent them an invoice, but it hasn't been paid. So... It's kind of first come, first serve. Whoever wants it can have it. If not, um, I'm going to keep it because I love Winnie the Pooh. Here, I don't need it right now, though. Open it. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, sweetie. What if it explodes? I'll do it in <laughs> Dina. <laughs> Yeah, I did send out an invoice on it, but um, I haven't had a response yet, so. I've had several invoices that no response, so I don't start anything until it's done. That is one thing I will tell you guys starting out. Always make sure before you start a cut for someone that you at least get a down payment or um, all of it up front. Because um, my payments I use to buy the materials for the cup. Um, I don't have a massive stock of anything. Typically, if I, thank you, sweetie, if I have a cup order, I will buy what I need, the cup, any uh, corresponding glitter or items or paper. Okay. Are you going to put a honey drip on the top? Of the yes, I am, Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer, the other Jennifer. You want this one too? You already took the watermelon one. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be Winnie the Pooh. Honey bee, honeycomb style. Honey peat, honeycomb peekaboo style. Winnie the Pooh. Now your chunkies, as you saw me doing this, I started patting it down. And the great thing about this is when using a chunky, sometimes you get pieces of your background sticking out. So it's a good thing that I went ahead and spray painted this in matching yellow anyway. So whatever didn't get covered by the fine and the chunky pieces, um, you're not going to see. Like especially around the rim, it's super hard to get chunkies to stay. But this is why I love their mixologies because it's a mix of fine and chunky. 
I do the same thing, money. I make it more for supplies. He went upstairs, Jesse. Yeah, I got burned when I started making wreaths. I would make someone for someone that um, wanted one, and then they didn't want to pay me for it. For um, Because I make wreaths differently, the same way I make cups differently. Um, I do have pictures of my wreaths on my business page. If you guys... Um, want to ever see them just to see them just to be like oh she did I do make wreaths differently than I saw everyone else doing them but I would start making them and when I would tell someone what it cost me to make I mean I wouldn't even charge for my time I would charge them literally what it cost me to make it and they didn't want to pay for it so I got stuck a lot of the times um, with stuff like that so now with cups, I don't do that. This is not a, um, this is definitely not a cheap business. So definitely do that, guys. I do. I love any and all glitter, though, honestly. Glitter Chimp is my weakness. But any and all glitter places, I go and I check out and I'm just like in love. You know what I mean? Like, when I went and looked at Stacy's site, the Southern Sassy Sparkles, I freaking fell in love. I fell in love with the Geisha Glimmer. I fell in love. I mean, really. It's an addiction. But I don't plan on getting help. <laughs> like, it's not one I'm worried about. I can't go out and shop for shit right now anyway, so glitter it is. Now, look at what I'm doing, you guys. This is what I said. I don't even want to count, Cindy. I just know I have more than what fit in this container next to me. And uh, so this is chunky glitters. Now, you see me going around as this spins and patting it down. Okay? You see this? I'm going around, patting it down. This is what you need to do when you do a chunky glitter. I love the chunkies. I love the textures it gives to your cups. But you want to pat it down. You want to make sure it's nice and flat when you're finished. It could be worse. I thought if you bought some through PayPal, you had to pay off. I think so. I think you can change that, though. When doing a peekaboo wood grain, do you epoxy before adding decal and spray paint? Um, Not typically, Wendy, but you can do it either way. I saw them. They look great. I also do wreaths cash first. Oh, yeah. See, Joy, that's good. Just had another idea for the cup. I told you I would change my mind. Beyonce cup, since people who love her call her the beehive. Oh, that is true, Mimi. I love that meme of her as dressed as a queen. Okay. We're going to love on the butt. And what I'm going to do is drizzle this over the rim to catch for all of the fine pieces to catch in any spots that haven't been covered. And I'm tapping it down. I make grease too, and I've always asked for at least half of for my cups, depending on who it is. I ask for the full payment up front. Yeah, see, for me, I use what I'm paid for a cup to buy what I need for a cup. So, really, I can't start it unless I'm paid for it. Does that make sense? I don't have a lot of anything that's just sitting around in stock, if that makes sense. I think on the bottom of this, I will probably put a group picture from Winnie the Pooh. 
You know what I mean? Like Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends. But I want to put like him in the honey tree for this. It gives me definitely Winnie the Pooh and the honey tree vibes. That was one of my favorite Winnie the Pooh ones. I do shirts and then had one of my best friends tell me she was going to pay me for when she got paid. So I gave her the shirts after I gave her a discount as well. She never paid me for them. Yeah, see, and mixing business with pleasure, it, in the, in, so to speak, is really, really a hard line. It's a hard line to, uh, to walk. But I mean, we wouldn't go to, I guess you could say, I'm not going to go to McDonald's and expect because I know someone at McDonald's, uh, go, hey, you're going to give me free McDonald's? Like, no. You, you put your time and your effort into it. I will pay for what I want. Keep rubbing it in, Helen. <laughs> After you end the live session, I will go in and take care of the invoice. Okay, Kayla. I wasn't talking about you specifically, just in case you didn't know. I was not meaning you. But I think it's a good PSA to out, get out there. You know what I mean? Pat that butt. I'd like to tap it. Smack that on the floor. Smack that. Yeah, that's not a song I should sing right now. <laughs> now I'm going to take all of the glitter on this paper and pour it right back in. Also, you guys, I'm doing a giveaway on my business page, so don't forget to go enter. I'm doing a giveaway on that mermaid cup we did. Look how pretty that is. I'm trying to start a food truck business and all my friends are asking. Girl, I'd come hit up your food truck, but I am hungry right now. I don't have a tax ID yet. What's your business page? H&M Expressions, guys. No, I don't think I have reached that the number yet. Do you make personalized sports cups as well? I could. I mean, if there's a certain cup you're looking for that maybe you just want to add a name to, I don't mind doing that either, Kayla. Like, if you have a cup and you're like, okay, I want to put a name on it or you want to order something custom, just hit me up. Let me know. I'm getting all this good stuff off my turner. My turner dirty. That's dirty. I think this is like a mix in with some blue. So I'm not going to put it back into my thing, but I'll put it in my dump cup. But this is the start of the honeybee cup, guys. There it is. And if you guys do, um, any of you watching that did want... Um, a Winnie the Pooh cup from me if you don't want to make one yourself I can make more of more than one of these just email, PM me and um, we'll get it sorted out okay so if you did want one if you didn't want to make it yourself private message me and uh, we'll work out making you one too I've made I don't know how many Golden Girls cups now that was a popular style Man, this ain't even cold no more. Darn it. 
My niece asked for shirts, and from the beginning, I've always charged her. <laughs> I have charged everyone just because I can't afford for it to come out of my own pocket. Even my sister's cups, but she never even gave me a problem with that. She understood. I'm an Atlanta Falcons fan. Could you make a cup with that on it? Sure, Kayla, I could. If you want an Atlanta Falcons, that's fine. You just want a straight Atlanta Falcons one? Just PM me what you want and um, I'll get you an invoice for that. Y'all, this is so gorge. I mean, right? Yep. And my sister has like four cup, three, four cups now? Three or four cups now? <laughs> well, that's your time, Helena. That's why. Falcons, Braves, and Bulldogs. Yes, my family is Atlanta all the way. Sweet. She will have a cup for each day of the week. That's right. Now, you see this. Now, watch this as it spins, you guys. I want to point this out. There are no pieces sticking straight up. Okay? That's, and it's a chunky. So as long as you go down and pat this down, well, you're going to, you're about to have another one because you're going to get the I Love Lucy one. But I patted all of it down. Now see how it's nice and flat? That's what you want when you use a chunky. You want this nice and flat. This will get two layers of epoxy over it before we work on it again, guys. Okay? It'll have two layers of epoxy and be sanded smooth. Okay? Peekaboos do take a lot more work, but they are worth it in the end. They are a lot more um, specifically detailed. Okay? And this is gorgeous. Look at the butt. See? And it was a rubber butt. This was a rubber butt, you guys. But yeah, anytime, um, like I told Tina and everybody else that watches, anytime you guys want to place an order with me, just PM me. Either on my regular Facebook or uh, my business page. I don't care. And then we'll work on it together. You can watch me make it. That way you guys can learn to make this on your own just as much as you just watch do it. Yes, I love the peekaboos. Have you ever done the baseball cups with the threads on it? I am scared. I won't be able to but the, put the straight the threads on straight. Well, Helena, the best thing about that is um, for the threads on a baseball, they're not exactly straight. Mom, I need a rubber butt. <laughs> Right there with you. I'm so glad Abby loves her cup, Jesse. But I do put my heart into everything I make. I really do. How many requests do you get for 40 ounce tumblers? For 40 ounces, I have never gotten a request for a 40 ounce. I think I just had a lady message me wanting a 32 ounce water jug. Just decal the plastic water bottle decal and um i i told her i said i can decal it but i can't epoxy it so it would have to be um it would have to be like that but i have not got a request for 40 ounces not yet i think the biggest i've done is a 30 oh good yes i did pat this down look at that nothing is standing up when you do a chunky pat it down you are going to have some pieces that lift that's fine we can um, epoxy over them and sand them but as far as chunky goes, just uh, pat it down. If you pat it down, you're not going to have any issues. And this is Honeycomb from Glitter Chimp. And like uh, Stacy said, she's got some really great golds at Southern Sassy Sparkle. That would be perfect for your honeybee cups. Um, I can't remember what they were. Southern Gold Fever and Southern something, I think she said. And those would work really well, and you guys can use your um, your group discount at Southern Sassy Sparkles. You want a water cup? A water cup? I've gotten 
I've gotten four off of them at a good price and get them for five. Oh, that's good. I did two chunky cups. They are so pretty. I love the texture we get from chunkies, you guys. It really, for me, um, a look of texture and um, putting a little bit more effort into the details of a cup is really what makes it a work of art. So always just put your heart into it and you, you can create anything you want. Love it. Love what you do. Put your heart and your soul into your work and it shines through. Like a skinny with a straw. So like, like this, Jesse, this is a 20 ounce skinny. My beach cup's a 20 ounce skinny. Yeah, Southern Bling and Gold Fever, Stacy said. And Stacy, if I get more for Winnie the Pooh and I run out of honeycomb and I can't find it, I'll definitely get some of that. Southern Bling and Gold Fever. I'll have to grab some of that and try it with the peekaboo for honey, uh, Winnie the Pooh. Chunky glitter as not devil glue front. Well, that's because it's devil's glue in the first place, Arissa. No, you didn't, Christy Joe. Um, Jason, can you throw up, or Sandy, can you guys throw up the discount code for Southern Sassy Sparkles? Yeah, okay. I'll have to order another skinny. I don't have them. We'll figure out what you want, Jesse. PM me what you want, and, um... I'll send you an invoice and order some more skinnies. I charge 40 to 45 for them and haven't had an issue. I start my 20 ounce at 35, so it's a good deal for people. There you go, Ashley. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the most main competition of selling your cups. But please don't, uh, don't underprice yourself, guys. Some of these cups take a lot of work and a lot of detail, and the right customers will understand that. And, um... We'll go for that. You want a quality product and you want something that's timeless and unique. It's not, I mean, it's not free. You got, I don't really charge too much for my time alone. So, but my theme cups, I do, um, an extra 10 for, but you guys see how much detail I put into that. Um, into my theme, my movie themes, my TV shows, um, Disney. So, I think it's good. I think you guys are doing really well. You guys need help with anything? Don't hesitate to PM me. Make a comment on the page. You can ask any of my admins. Jason and Sandy are absolutely amazing. Sandy doesn't show off her stuff enough, y'all. But her stuff is freaking amazing. It really is. Okay? I love seeing all of you guys' work. I think it's amazing how all of you are opening up and willing to share. Exactly like Stacy said, know your worth. Amen. You will, the right people will find you for what you're worth, hon. It is so true. Yeah, Helen, sorry that I'm so annoying, but you are amazing in all of this. Actually, you are not annoying. I don't find any of these questions, anytime you guys need help, I don't find it annoying. It does not bother me. I offered and it, I mean it. You need help, I'm here. I ha you have me in your corner. To do whatever you need to do. Okay? Do I charge more for peekaboos? Not really. Um, I've, I probably should, but I don't. Uh, I do charge more. Mine are more of what you're specifically wanting on it. But if you personally want to charge more for the amount of time a peekaboo peek takes, then go for it. I definitely don't think that's a bad idea. Mine is more the decal stage when people are wanting themes. And that's, that's I mean, to me, when you want a theme, I put a lot more um, hours into making decals than I do into just glittering in this stage. This stage, I can do like that. <laughs> decals take me a little longer. Initials from the group main. Group name in 15. That's how I memorize it. I might surprise everyone and do a live. Yes, Sandy, you should. You guys be watching for Sandy's live. All of you guys have been doing so amazing. I'm so proud of each and every one of you that have started out from nowhere and started following me. I'm super proud of all of you. Yes, you can message Helen and she will get back to you and help you as much as she can. She was helping me with my printer issue. Yeah, Helena, that's true. I really do. A lot of people don't understand... 
when someone, there are so many people that go live and say, oh, message me, I'll help you, comment and I'll help you, and they really don't, they never really get back to you, um, I do promise I actually answer every single message, and sometimes I wake up in the morning and I have like 20 messages that I need to go through, and I try to be as, um, I try to answer as quickly as I can back to you guys, but if I'm either asleep or in the bathroom, I, I don't answer Sometimes I answer in the bathroom. I take that back. We all we all have our phone with us in the bathroom. So, <laughs> oh my, I've been fighting a tooth problem and can't get pulled until COVID over. Oh no, Joanne, I know how bad pa mouth pain is, girl. I had an abscess in my mouth once. Oh, don't even get me started. But I know, I feel you. Evelise, you're welcome, hon. Anytime. I know where the glitter came from, thanks to the ladies here. However, what's the name of it? Never apologize for a question, T. No question you need to apologize for, and no question you need to say, oh, I know it's dumb. I don't find any question dumb. It is called honeycomb. Honeycomb. You were getting straw toppers for five bucks? That's what I charge for mine. Tina, I used a cricket today, but Ashley's going to help me with the silhouette. Yes. Good, Cindy. And if you need help with the silhouette, too, um, if Ashley um, can't help, I, I have a silhouette, too. I love my silhouette. I have done a print and cut tutorial for um, the silhouette, and if you guys need help, just message me. I have a bad memory. What's your business page again? H&M Expressions, Laura. H and symbol M Expressions. What brand of epoxy are you using? Macy, I use Amazing Clearcast from Illumilite.com. The only dumb question is one you don't ask. Very true, Nikki. Thanks, Tina. So, this is the step one of our honeybee peekaboo. Okay? You can take this. I love the silhouette, too. T, I have a silhouette cameo for. I don't have a cricket. Okay? This is step one. Now, like I said before, this will get uh, two coats of epoxy. My chunkies always do. I just got it from Mother saying it was way more than the Cricut. It is more than a Cricut. Yes, the silhouette does cost more than a Cricut. But I find the design software so much easier. Just got one and have, haven't figured out how to use it. Jen, you need help with your silhouette? Just let me know. I will help you. I played with and the cricket was a little annoying. <laughs> I mean, cricket and silhouette is like iPhone and Android. You're just going to have one you prefer over the other. Everyone's different. Like epoxy brands. Everyone's different on the brand they like to use for epoxy too. That's what I'm using. I've only been doing tumblers for about three-ish weeks. I love it. Can't wait to venture into some alcohol inks and wood grains. Go for it, Macy. I have a tutorial on alcohol inks and wood grains, if that helps. If you need them, let us know. They're on the YouTube page. No, it, it has more than the Cricut, and as far as function and stuff, click on it. I'm just going to play with it some. Yes, go for it. Thank you. It's just sitting collecting dust. Well, bust that baby out and get to making some stuff, girl. I love my silhouette. It did take me a while to figure it out. I had to play with it a lot. But I prefer making my own decals. Abby and I are making chocolate mousse pie from her butter bean cafe recipe. Nice. Send me some pie, Jesse. I want a pie. I love my Cricut. I find it easier to use than the silhouette, especially the print cut. And see, that's the thing. Every one is different. Some people struggle and some people don't. Will I need a silhouette if I'm doing tumblers? Vicki, you can use, you will need a, a a cutting machine, not necessarily a silhouette. You will need a cutting machine to make your own decals for vinyl. My friend had a cricket and would come to me to do design and cut decals for her. What's tea? I don't know. What is what's tea? 
I have the Cameo 3 still new to it. I let my neighbor play with the silhouette. She just got the maker and she said it's much easier than the silhouette, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yep, and that's that's the thing, guys. Cricket and silhouette, one person finds one thing easier than the other. We're all different that way. I also want to give water slides a try too. Go for it, Macy. I did it. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to use water slides. I have several of them. Um, we did water slides on a crime scene cup and a couple of other cups. Yes, nothing like making your own decals. I had someone doing my decals and I lost four customers because of it. Oh, yeah. Making your own decals does really help. It was Battle of the Boxes doing Twinkle Toes and had four different straws. Oh, Battle of the... I don't know what Battle of the Boxes is. I use my Cricut now, but Design Space is always acting up, so I get Silhouette because of that. Oh, yeah. I heard Cricut um, Design Space shuts down to, like, up, update every couple of days or something. What is your YouTube channel so I can check out these tutorials? Um, Jason or Sandy, can you drop the YouTube channel link? For some reason, when I search the YouTube channel, I don't find it. So we need to figure out why our link is only working when we use the link. I have a silhouette too and love it. Yes, Baby Shark Cup was the best for learning waters. Baby Shark Cup, Jason, was principal vinyl. The Crime Scene Cup was water slides and the um, Horror Movie Cup was water slides. And I'm trying to think what else. But we did water and when we did the coffee cups, that was water slides. I'm going to attempt to print my own water slide tomorrow. Go for it, Helena. I can't wait to see what you make. I haven't been able to do any cups for a week. Well, Joanne, that's understandable, though, hon, if you're having a lot of pain. Y'all have a good night. Can't keep my eyes open any longer. Good night, Jennifer. Yeah, we're going to pop off. We're done, but I figured I'd answer a couple of questions. Or a lot of questions. I don't know. So, that's it for the honeycomb. This is going to get... This will spin overnight. I will probably spray seal it. You don't have to, but I probably will with a clear matte enamel spray. I'll seal this, and then I will epoxy over it twice. I'm glad I've found your YouTube. Oh, good. Yes. Any and everything, every tutorial I've ever done is on there. So that is really helpful. So go and subscribe, subscribe, and then you guys can... Uh, be able to save the videos and catch it and be able to see any of that are uploaded previously. Dang it, I caught up. I'll catch the replay. Yes, Jennifer. Catch the replay, hun. Hashtag replay. All right, guys. We'll pop off for tonight. Like I said, this is step one for the honeybee tutorial. Um, night, Helen. Tell Panda happy Father's Day. Oh, thanks, guys. I will tell Panda happy Father's Day from all of you. That's very sweet. I can never get my chunky to look that good after the first coat using epoxy method. Just pat it down, Amanda. If you watch this from the complete, um, I guess when I started glittering, I pat it down. Did you know that your YouTube videos show Happy Potter instead of Harry Potter? Well, maybe that's good, Linda. At least with Happy Potter, I can't be copyrighted. <laughs> right? I, they can't get me for copyright if we haven't spelled it wrong. I'll have to look at it. You have a possum at your house, Mom? What? You need to bust out the broom. Okay, guys. We're going to call it a night. I had a lot of fun with you. This will get two coats of epoxy on this before we do it again, okay? What color spray paint is that? This is the color spray paint I used. Matte Wild Honey from Krylon. Okay, you guys have any questions while you're working tonight, PM me. Uh, I will try to answer them as much as I can. I'm going to pop off and eat some dinner because I'm hungry. And uh, watch some TV with my guys. I'll probably ep epoxy these other two cups though. And then uh, watch TV. Clean up my workspace. Okay, so... Any of you need any help, you know where I am. You know how to find me. Uh, like I said, go to our YouTube channel. Find, click on the link Jason sent. Click subscribe. You'll be able to find any and all tutorials that way as well, not just only here in the group. Then you won't have to search for them. They're all in one place. Okay? Have a great Father's Day to Mr. Panda. I will tell Mr. Panda all of you guys' Father's Day wishes. I appreciate that. And I know he does too. Can you type in the name of that spray paint? Yes, Linda, I can. 
I'll type in after the live, okay? So if any of y'all need me, you know where to find me. I had a lot of fun this Saturday night. We will reconvene maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know what I have to do. Probably, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> you guys need me. You know where to find me. You ever want to place an order, you know where to find me. Go and enter in the giveaway on my business page. Fingers crossed for all of you. May the odds be ever in your favor on that. And we will reconvene later. I will always post before I go live to let you know what we're doing. Okay? So everyone have a fantastic Saturday night. I love all of you. I hope all of you have fun tonight. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And we'll talk soon. Bye.